hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem, thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing, and still, right, I'm just going to make it quick. Uh, recycled garbage. That's what I want you to do this video as Cam, all right? Recycled garbage. And when I when I talk about garbage, I talk about people like Tony <coughs> Bellew, <coughs> David A, Chisora. How are these guys? even in the mix for pay-per-views, I mean David Day, his last two fights were pay-per-view Bellew's had four pay-per-views Chisora's looking for his third pay-per-view what's going on here? what is going on? It's, it's unbelievable what's going on with fighters that are recycled and I'm blaming Eddie Hearn and Matchroom and Sky Sports all the people I've got all their noses in the trough and when I mean trough I mean they're using platforms to spin narratives like Mr. Bean <coughs> Bean run of bean could have been should have been never been baked bean beanie creepy bean but this Tony Bell you were coming back to fight to fight Andy <coughs> Ruiz is shocking I mean so so let's back up a little bit and let's have a look at Tony Bell CV when Tony Bellew puts his head on that pillar at night, he knows that he is known as a paper champion. British title, vacant. Commonwealth title, vacant. European title, vacant. WBC title, vacant. Didn't go in the WBSS tournament for Davy Day. Held together by sellotape. He knew we were going to get beaten, and everybody knew he'd get beat. You remember that, the video I did, don't you, two years ago? Were it, were it a bit longer than two years ago? No, it might have been less than two years ago. Ice, ice, baby. He got iced, didn't he? Iced. But we all knew it would, didn't we? And them judges that had him winning at a certain point in the fight were shocking, but if he comes back, I am done with boxing. I am done with it because it is shocking. As regards David Hay, Oh my God, how can he even show his face? How can he show his face? The moves he's making. He's held together by not sellotape, not gaffer tape, masking tape that you can just tear like that, like paper. 40 year old, it's embarrassing. And then we've got Derek Chisora now. Derek Chisora, the Mr. Spits in Your Face, flips tables up, nine losses. How is he getting pay-per-view dates? Is this recycled rubbish going to keep on going on and on and on and on? I know it seems like I'm being harsh against the Matchroom FC lot, but would you get Frank Warren doing that? I don't think you would, would you? And people keep saying, you don't say no about Frank Warren. Well, he's not recycling rubbish like these lot recycled rubbish and it's got to stop it's got to stop because the fans are going to turn off look Eddie Hearn's sweating he's doing interviews every day he knows that the zone are behind, are behind the, they're in trouble aren't they the zone are banging trouble UK boxing is banging trouble he knows the landscape's going to change it could be over for Matchroom it could be over it could be over for Sky it's over for the zone it's over for them, they've got legal issues galore. Everybody's squabbling and running for cover. And let me tell you this, in a way, I'm gutted. But certain people in boxing have had it coming, aren't they? But look how they're behaving now. They're hanging out the back of people to get PR and to get themselves out there. They all want to get to the big books. 
Whatever happened to earning your right? If David Edge comes back, he's got to earn his right. He's got to earn his right to get pay-per-view fights, and he knows that. Bellew just can't waltz back in and say I'm pay-per-view against Andy Ruiz. It shouldn't happen, wouldn't happen. If it did happen, it wouldn't be for a belt. It would be just a cash out yet again. Are these people going to keep coming to the trough until they get by the George Foreman 45 year old yardstick age? Is this what we as boxing fans have to put up with? Eh? This is why people have jumped on the Porky Express. Everything I've been telling you for two and a half years all coming true. I told you Bell you had come back. I told you! I shook up the world! And I told you that David A had come back. I told you Billy Joe Saunders. I've got a match up, didn't I? I told you. I told you John Fuchs were training Kel Brook. Listen. This is not just a job for me, it's a fucking adventure. <laughs> so listen, stop the bullshit because people are sick of it and we must whip Mr. Tooth Decay. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. If you want to put up with this in boxing, put up with it, but I don't want to put up with it. I'm sick of it. People coming back, all this recycled crap, it's rubbish. Nobody wants to see Tony Bell you fight again. Two years ago, he said he was going to fucking disappear. I see him on news more than I do Alf Roberts on Cora. Listen. Disappear, Tony, you're giving me an ulcer. And as for you, Davey Day, the front you've got is unbelievable. The word that springs to mind is whore. And Shizora, well... He's just going to do his own thing in here. He'll probably be flipping more tables over in a few months. It's recycled crap. We've got people not fighting anybody like Dylan White. You've got Anthony Joshua. Look at Anthony Joshua's CV. People are putting him pound for pound. He's beat five world champions. But let me tell you about them world champions. Charlie Martin, according to Ring Magazine, is the worst ever world champion. Joshua did him in his 16th fight. That was Tyson Fury's belt. Eric Molina, a defence. Shocking. Dominic Brazil, Shocking. Povetkin. Well, he, in his 40th year, he's 42 next, isn't he? Who, who else has he been with? Vladimir were in his 42nd year. Andy Ruiz knocked him out. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. How much more can us boxing fans take? I'm sick of it. Sick to the back teeth of it. It's recycled crap. We're being spun narratives constantly by the same old people on the same old platforms and what are you all doing about it? Nobody's saying a fucking word, are they? Only me and Ultra Tech Sports, Raw, and UCTV, Boxing Asylum, Terry Chapman Dime, a beautiful podcast, Rico. How many more people are making a stand against these fuckers? How many more? So peace out, keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Sorry for swearing, but people be emailing in now saying he's been swearing again, he's been swearing again. Who cares? <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe. Keep on trucking. <laughs>